in our crazy world with all the commotion going on, God reminds us that he needs men who are heroes for the faith to bring their families along, to help pray with each other and love each other to heaven. You see, God has put missionary people, good men like you and good women, out there to bring light into the darkest places, to help bring those souls back. Men need to take some time out for themselves and I think really uh, get inspired about what their faith has to offer. And the effects of it are still rippling down through human history. We're still trying to learn these lessons. A lot of the crisis in masculinity today is that um, we, we've got a Peter Pan syndrome. We've got too many lost boys who refuse to grow up and man up. Uh, and. Uh, that simply means taking responsibility. It, do, it doesn't mean any kind of a macho, domineering um, sort of masculinity, but it's, it's a gentle, um, strong uh, taking responsibility and saying, right, uh, I'm going to do something about this. The only way we're going to be able to do this is by embracing and accepting the forgiveness of God. Every man that I've ever seen go to confession, he's got a beautiful family. He's got a, a, a family that are devoted, children that are good, that have, that have a chance of surviving. And we need that. We need to give something to let men start over again. Christ walked with a cross, so, you know, we walked together, but we had to go to Christ to, you know, really help us through a lot of these challenges. This is our moment in salvation history. We are called to be that light that St. Paul exhorted the people of the light to be. It's especially hard to evangelize because when you challenge people um, with their own personal views and stuff, then they d become very defensive. It's all, it's all about that, you know, that caring. Um, caring and making sure that they're, you know, they feel loved. It seems to be more and more difficult to really talk about your religion these days. We need to really uh, not be afraid to witness, we could call it evangelize, but really witness to our faith, to, to our Catholic faith. Definitely the biggest challenge is just the fear of being judged by fellow classmates or your friends based on what you think or how you act about your faith. Parents have to want their kids to go to these things and maybe at times kind of give them a nudge. Having more support with you helps you like and encourages you to go to these things and like become a stronger faithful person. I think it's definitely a call to action and a call to like, you know, a call to change things of like how I go about living life, you know.